Welcome to day two of our Hunky Dory Christmas week of webisodes, and today we're all about cute Christmas. <laughs> right, it's a luxury card kit from Hunky Dory, mm -hmm. and it's got silver and gold foiling, and it's just filled with little Christmas cuties. Absolutely charming designs. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here is the kit, and just to show you, there's just a lot of stuff in here. Right, 149 silver and gold foil die cuts okay. in there, so and that's nice. There's an idea sheet, well there's ideas right here, and then on the back there's even more, so it's nice to have just a variety. Can you just, just see how cute they are already? I, I know we're not close up yet, we will yeah, be. Yeah, they're charming, they're charming, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, now I'll give you a close up. So here are the foiled sheets, and you can see there's the foil. And just to give you an idea of how charming they are. So snowmen, you can see uh, we've got borders, we've got um, all of the greetings and so forth. I love the forth. little bows here. Those are really Cute. sweet. Okay. And Santa, of course, in the snow globe. And this one is stacking elements. I'm going to show you that okay. in detail. Good. And we've got some owls, very wise owls with <laughs> scarves, of course. And um, a whole a group of reindeer and an absolutely cute little penguin. And I love all of the different shapes that Hunky Dory does. You can see there's tags, there's labels, there are large focals, you can make small cards. You can even um, save a lot of these, the extra tags, for gift cards. Oh, absolutely. Also, many of these are nested. So there's a frame here, there's another frame right here, and right. then there's a design. So mm -hmm. that's nice to have and very versatile. Love having those options. Mm -hmm. And then we get into the foil card stock. And there are 10 sheets of this. So there's going to be some foiling on it. It might, whoops, it might be a massive amount. It might be just some highlights just like in the border. snow there. That's great. Yes, yeah, so we've got, and of course, they're going to coordinate with all of the sheets that we just saw. Beautiful. And then we're going to I love quickly. all of the different <laughs> colors, even with the, you know, they're, they're yeah. all perfectly matching with the die cuts, but you get a lot to choose from there. And then we get into the additional 10 sheets that are simply printed. All of these are on what Hunky Dory calls adorable cardstock, and it is a 350 GSM weight, so it's, right. it's sturdy. <laughs> and they call it adorable scorable because when you score it, it will not break that image. It will not tear or rip, and it just leaves a nice score line. <laughs> So there we go. <laughs> All of these cute. They oh, are, just... yes, they're just charming. Okay, so that's the whole thing. Right. Now the deal is, so what can you do with what them? Can you do okay, with so let's right. start Let with owls. Get that out of your way. So here we have just a really cute little trio. You can see a one, two, three. They've got their stockings hung by the branch with care. So very cute. I like that the center of this is popped up on foam tape. That gives you a little dimension, and yeah. the rest of it is actually glued in place. But there's something about this in that you've got that center piece, and then you've got a, a distance between here and here. And I wanted to show you on the die cuts. This is a different die cut, but it has the same concept, same kit and everything. You have those separate frames, so you can pop out the center, and then you can, let me just show you. Because these are so easy to pop out, it's just no big deal. Pop that out. You can glue it in place just like this, keep it all together, or you can pop out each of those separate elements and you can foam tape the center one. And I like the idea of removing that center frame or the, yeah, the yeah. center of the, and save that for something else. Put it around a photo even if you like. And then when you put these together, you've got this nice um, area in between those two which is sort of like matting right. that center which piece. Which is where the paper shows in the back. <clears throat> and we did use um, one of the foiled sheets. You can see that that uh, candy cane is over on the right and kind of peeks through right there, so you get that. And then, um, uh, I'll be home for Christmas is our message, oh, OWL, O-W-L. Yes, <laughs> really sweet. And on the inside, the another piece of that stripe turned toward the fold, 
with more layering going on. So just a little tag and yeah. another little greeting on the inside. So you can make quite a few cards from this kit. This is really going to go a long way. Yeah. You know there's always lots of extra um, hunky-dory die cuts left over. Yeah, there's probably going to be at least, certainly 24, maybe even going closer to uh, 30. 30 or so. Yeah, sure. so this is just uh, kind of a school uh, play where all the little kids are dressed up and it's just really sweet. I love that. Sweet. What a nice large focal. It's really going to take up your card and this is an example of popping up the center on foam tape and uh, leaving the, the cent that center frame in place this time to really uh, surround that focal. Yeah. I like your idea of taking it out though. Mm -hmm. Now on the bottom here we've cut away just about, well about half an inch. About a half inch of the front panel only. Right, and we've used the red jewel border dazzles which I think just give a really nice pop and an added benefit is that they are also have gold foiling right. uh, along so the edge. Right, so it matches perfectly. Mm -hmm. I do like that they went, uh, I think this was Linnea's card, she went off of the edge so that you can see that scallop effect without having to cut that edge. You right. just go off the edge of the card a little bit. Now this isn't I guess it's still a little it's sticky, a little but it doesn't. But it you doesn't, could yeah. use uh, like the perfect pouch on that, which right. is chalk, and that will uh, keep it from sticking. Or baby like powder. To, or baby too. powder. Too. <laughs> mm -hmm. On the inside, just going, keeping things down at the bottom with one of the greetings, sending peace and love this festive season. Plenty of room to write just a brief message. So right. that's charming. Mm -hmm. Now, scrapbookers, you know we never forget you, and so <laughs> this oh, is an example of how you could use this set on your pages and uh, as you can see they become the embellishments and right. just do a nice job of uh, accenting. Uh, and collaging yeah. with your photos. Now what you're seeing in the background is a paper from the Christmas Wonder. I believe it's the Christmas Wonder paper pack and also red cardstock. So now you've okay. got this nice red border that ties in with some of the die cuts and your photos. And I love using this border die cut all the way along the top and down at the bottom too, just two of the hunky-dory die cuts. And you know, and it's borders. fine that those uh, borders don't span the whole 12 inches, but look sure. what they do. It will back up just a little smidge. They, they uh, really frame where all of the pieces right. are. So that's a nice job. Just a design thing. You do want to have things looking into the center of your layout. That way, uh, if this had been placed over here, it sends your eye off the page. So I agree, you're that's right. just a nice thing. And there's your little bows. Sure. <laughs> Those are cute. And then backing uh, or matting that photo oh. first a little bit with a little bit of paper and then with uh, the adorable scorable yeah. back there, just a piece of it. So there, you can think of this for scrapbooking, 149 uh, foil die cuts to embellish your pages. <laughs> now you talked about that little snow globe and right. here he is all put together. And let me just... And he's oh, all him. stacked up with those yeah. little die cuts, paper toll fashion, super easy to accomplish. So I've got the die cuts here. I've got that whole sheet. So when you're looking at this, you're going to see a lot of little elements that look sort of strange, or you're thinking, well, what's that, <laughs> what's that? But that's what paper toll is, and most of us are pretty familiar, but maybe everyone hasn't tried it. So here we've got the base piece, we start with that. And then you look for the next biggest piece, the one that has the most elements on it, and to me that's the Santa right there. You pop that out. I went ahead and put a couple of pieces of larger um, uh, okay. foam tape mm -hmm. on here. And uh, something else that you want to look for, is sometimes within these there are extra little areas that you need to pop out. And I can see on the back, I didn't notice it on the front, but I didn't notice it on the back. So and actually, those. that's really what I do too, is I turn them over because then oh, you'll okay. see those uh, words, like you said, you don't see it on the front. Now I'm going to, I don't want to make a double image, so I'm going to line <laughs> him up and try to get all of those edges so that when you're looking at it, it sort of looks flat that way until you turn it just a little bit and you start to get to the dimension. And then you just start popping out the next pieces. This would be next. And then there's this one. And then just one by one, you're going to, unless you do want to sort of, you know, follow, no. <laughs> We'll or you could use it on like other so. projects, actually. And, and there are, there's the pole and everything else. So that's a, just an easy way of right. doing that. We also have foam squares that are small enough to fit yeah. some of those smaller elements. They look like this. They're actually a quarter inch square 
And what's nice about them is they're already pre-cut. They've got the paper on each side, but they allow you to get into the tiny areas. So kind of like that ornament right, right there mm -hmm. and without a lot of fuss and muss. And one other thing is, although this has multiple layers, as you can see, it's really not horribly thick. Right. And so it's it's not... It's maybe three-eighths of an inch yeah, total there. Right, so, so um, it's going to give you that dimension without being too bulky, so that's nice. And again, scrapbookers, you can elect to make it 3D or you right. can elect to keep it uh, flat. Sure. And there's um, Snow One Like You is what this says. We'll open and then, so we're looking for the opening. Oh, we're Starting opening for the opening. There. there we go. Okay, so there's that um, piece of the the art. Right, so that's actually the more the adorable scorable, mm -hmm. which has artwork that matches those die cuts. So that's perfect for the inside of your card. Cute placement with this. It looks you like have, another signpost on it. So very sweet. Again, the red uh, jewel da border dazzles at the top and the bottom. And now we're going to go from Santa in the snow globe to an angel. And this is a gatefold card, as you're probably well aware. So it's going to open like go. this. It opens just like so. And that's the real benefit of having the papers in here, is that color coordinating and image coordinating. Sure. So on a gatefold card, if you have, normally I would fold it right here. This would be a five inch by six and a half inch card. But you open it up flat, you measure two and a half inches from each side, you're going to score that, and you can use a couple of different things. I would use a ruler with a metal edge, that's my favorite choice, and you can use a scoring tool and just run it along there, just like that, and then you're going to be able to fold that to the center of the card. Now it does, it will leave a score line in the center. So if that doesn't, if you don't notice that much and that's fine with you, okay. But for this yeah. one, we covered it with more of the adorable And we do line. generally um, cover it just to cover up that score line. Uh, this is also one piece of the adorable scoreable, so it's got that border, right. which ties in very nicely with this angel having the same design around so, her. So I like that, that this is actually, the adorable scoreable started from here to here, and then it was cut in the center and placed on right. each panel. And this is also, make sure that your, uh, that your piece is only glued on the left half <laughs> of that gatefold. And there's another example of that frame, of that center frame being yeah. removed, so you can see through it. And in this one at the top here, we have used the silver border dazzles. So just, again, coordinating with that look, which is nice. Now we have another one, and this is going into using a die cut card. This is the center stage, and you can see it will stand up like right. so. So you can see the steps on there for mm -hmm. the center step card. And I love the purple jewel dazzles added with this, but also the, the border die cuts, the one placed on the bottom, and then just little slivers of the adorable scoreable placed on those steps to the right and left of that center. Works really well. Mm -hmm. Now in the center step um, die cut card pack, there is the paper pattern to do um, right. all of them. Makes it real yeah. easy to just trace out onto that adorable scoreable and then cut it out and there's your background. And like you said, the purple gives a very frosty look yeah. into it. So it's nice to have the variety in mm -hmm. this as well as so many applications. Right. So and when you open a center step card, you have an opportunity to either decorate the center or just leave it uh, blank I mean, the if inside. you like. Yeah. Right. So yeah. this has been done, again, just along the uh, bottom part. Uh, keeping everything horizontal, including wishing you a magical Christmas. Because Hunky Dory always has lots and lots of sentiments to choose from. You've got insides, you've got outsides. You could hold on to these little tags and just use them as gift tags. Yeah, but they make a nice little greeting on they there do, too. too. So <laughs> as you can see, the variety is what we think is really fun. Sure. So the center step, we've got gatefold, we've got the paper toll style, as well as um, just some regular cards. Frames, so very great fun. Cards super simple all very cute and yes. charming so and um, that wraps it up for today please join us tomorrow for another very fun hunky-dory Christmas see you tomorrow <laughs>